Well, good morning, YouTube. Today is Friday, May 5th, Cinco de Mayo, which puts us about a week and a half to two weeks post-show. I wanna show you what's changed. You can probably already tell in my mood, my voice, and everything else, I'm feeling a lot better after bodybuilding prep. But I figured I'd film a day in life because I have so much fun stuff planned today. I'm gonna finish my last college assignment ever. We're hitting a mean leg workout with Dylan. We're cooking some big steak. We're going to see Mackenzie for her graduation. We got a whole bunch of fun stuff planned, so make sure you're sticking around the whole video for that. Now I've stuck to my diet plan almost perfectly post-show. I was eating 1,600 calories at the end of prep. I know, extremely low. But now I'm eating 2,500, which is around my maintenance calories. I've normally been waking up around 165 pounds, but of course, since I'm filming a YouTube video, I woke up light at 163 pounds. It's only one pound up from stage weight, but I actually want to gain more weight so that I'm at a healthy body fat percentage so that I feel good so that my testosterone comes back up. But I figured I'd show you a physique update this morning of what I look like about a week and a half post show. Obviously, we're still extremely lean. We gotta get a little more body fat on there so that we feel even better, but I'm already feeling so much better. I just showered up, put on this sick new outfit. First off, check this out. Bandana shorts that match the shirt, but they're not too matchy-matchy where it looks weird. I think this looks amazing. It's from Young LA. It drops on May 10th, and of course, you can use code Casey if you want it, and they have like a million colors. But before we get into the first meal of the day, I wanna say thank you for 100 thousand subscribers. I cannot even fathom that my own YouTube channel has a hundred thousand subscribers. Thank you to y'all for the tremendous support on my prep series. It made the whole prep series worth it. Seriously, thank you. Are you guys ready to see me eat like a normal human being today? Obviously, yes, we are eating like a normal human being, a sustainable amount of calories, but that doesn't mean we're going off diet plan, we're sticking to our calories, we're eating our whole foods, and we're getting our macros in. First meal of the day, we got two English muffins, two halves, have some almond butter and salt on them, the others have some Mike's Hot Honey on them. Then over here in the Gila Mix, we got one Rise Gingerbread Cookie Protein Shake. And of course, the Gila Mix matches the brown fit in the letters right here. If this video is up by Sunday, May 7th, these are still 25% off and free shipping with Code Casey. So go get it. And of course, Rise subs Code Casey as always. I'm gonna thoroughly enjoy this meal and then I'll catch you guys in the next clip. So another thing that's changed now that bodybuilding prep is over is that you can do something food related. You can you can go get food, you can have people over for food. You're not restricted too much on calories. So again, like I said, Dylan's coming over, we're doing a leg workout, then we're cooking a bunch of steak. I have a London broil right here. I got it on manager special. This whole thing was 10 bucks. It's still super lean, we're still staying on diet, but I'll be able to have a pound of steak and not worry about it. But I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna prep this and then it's gonna marinate. gotta do is shake that around a little bit. We'll see this guy in about five hours. Now those clips may not have seemed special at all because they really weren't. That is another major thing that changed after prep. I am normally a neat freak, a clean freak. On prep, I didn't have any energy and doing the tiniest little chores made a huge difference. I was not as clean as I normally am. My body was just trying to conserve energy and cleaning was one of the last things I wanted to do. Now I feel so nice, I feel clean. Everything gets done on time. It's another tiny change that I figured y'all might not know about, so I figured I'd show you. Dylan, AKA my twin brother, is on the way and we're about to go crush a leg workout, so obviously we need the pre-workout meal. Just look how beautiful that looks. That looks amazing. We have actual rice, we have carbs, which is another thing you might notice is different. I have plenty of carbs in my system. I'm more energized, I'm energetic, I feel good, I feel like a human being. I felt like a zombie all the time 
because I didn't have the right fuel in my body. Make sure you're fueling your body right. It was just a short time for bodybuilding prep. It's chicken, rice, sugar-free Polynesian sauce, just a little bit of the broccoli that I had left, and then just a tiny little bit of soy sauce. No, a little bit of soy sauce isn't gonna kill you. I'm gonna eat this, drink my water in the Gila Mix over here, and then we're gonna get ready for the workout. Jonas has joined us for our leg workout. He just had some fruity pebbles. No, we got him some gifts. We got him one of these birthday cake. What's for him? Because we're a great brother. But wait, he has no idea. We have one more gift for him. Okay, this, this. Oh my God, what? Young LA? I actually have no idea what this is. Some of my favorite pair of shorts. So, so that, I got him for him. That was a fake reaction. I did ask him for, you know, if he ever had a chance to get me a wet pair of shorts. Yup. 105 compressions. These are nice. I could really squat test. They work. All right. They work. Free of the day. I'm going with some ring pops. We're going to throw just a little bit of L citrulline in there as well. We're going to drink these puppies and then we are headed to go do some quads. <laughs> Just getting the legs warmed up. 10 minute walk before we do our quads. Just get blood flow in there, get some extra steps. I'm not doing formal cardio every day. I'm just getting 10K steps because you got me so messed up if you think I'm gonna do formal cardio after prep. I'm already lean enough and I'm not gaining weight. So probably get about 1500 here and we'll go hit our leg workout. Another thing that's completely different is I have energy for my workouts and I actually enjoy working out now. Like I didn't at all the last like four or five weeks of prep, but I enjoy every workout. I'm getting good workouts. We're doing quads today. We're gonna do about three quad exercises. One little adductor warm up. Normally I like to throw a hamstring exercise on here, but my hamstrings are still sore from four days ago. We're gonna do about two sets each exercise, bang it out, probably be talking a little bit more than normal and we're gonna get into it. Another thing, I'm actually able to push myself as hard as I can go. So we're going to failure today, every single set, as hard as we can. Don't need it. Oh man, sometimes you fail, but the only way from here is up. Let's see if we get it up now, boys. That's what you gotta do when you got a short brother.
sure another difference you can tell is I actually get pumps now. On prep, I was getting no pumps at all, but now we've got carbs in us. We're getting vascular, still very lean, but we're getting pumps and we feel good. So that was a leg workout. We got after it, intense. Not a lot of sets, but high intensity. This is what our legs are looking like. It probably looks horrible in this lighting right now, but we got a decent pump. It actually looks really fucking good. The vascularity is kind of still there. Look at the calves. I think it's because I shaved, but the calves are looking better. Let's see what we look like upper body. This is no pump, don't judge me. Also, I was feeling my outfit the entire thing. Got this, these, dunks. Make sure you get this with Code Casey. But anyway. Like I said, we're gonna start gaining some more weight, just a little so that we're comfortable for summer. I'm still very cold sometimes. When it's below like 65, I get really cold. We're gonna gain a little bit of weight, probably maintain there, so that I'm lean, but that I'm not dying. We're gonna go get some cardio done, and then we're gonna go eat some massive steak tacos. Just finishing up our 30 minutes of cardio here on the treadmill, just getting our steps in again. Dylan joined me, so yeah. Honestly, cardio is not a chore at all anymore. I don't have to wake up in the morning and go do 60 minutes of fasted cardio. It's just steps. We're at about 8K steps today. I'm just trying to get 10K. On prep, I was doing at least 12K a day. So it's just easy. I can go walk outside to finish my steps if I have to. And it's not a chore. I enjoy finishing my workouts with a little bit of light cardio and just getting the steps in. Blood flow feels good, keeps the health up, and we're maintaining our weight pretty good. That's another thing that's changed that I'm actually really enjoying. And my legs aren't fatigued 24 seven, which is awesome. Got that nice crust on there. We got my pound of steak right here. We got Dylan's probably three quarter pound of steak. We're gonna make some tacos and I'll show you what they look like. This is what we're working with right here. London broil steak, toasted corn tortilla, salsa verde, a little bit of iceberg lettuce. We got a Caesar salad going here. He's a plain Jane type of guy. This meal is still only like 800 calories, but we're able to enjoy it with someone like Dylan. It's nice being off prep, being able to do that. We are going to absolutely slam this. That was incredible. We both cleaned our plate, but Dylan's about to head home. I'm about to go finish my steps. I'm at 8,500 steps. I'll probably get around 11K, walk outside. But Dylan, we will catch you later, and I will catch you all in the next clip. So some time has passed. We got our steps in. We showered up. Now we're eating our last meal of the day. We got two lightly salted rice cakes with some almond butter and honey and some vanilla Greek yogurt. I'm honestly not that hungry, but I gotta get the calories in to make sure that we are gaining just a little bit of weight. Even more importantly than that, y'all are gonna come with me to finish my very last college assignment ever, or actually to turn it in. I just finished it. We are going to turn in my very last college assignment. All we gotta do is go here, choose file, this file right here, upload, proceed, submit. I just submitted my last college assignment ever. I literally can't believe that, but I'm so glad y'all are here to share that moment with me. I cannot believe it. If you were curious, I'm graduating from UNC Chapel Hill, the degree in economics and a degree in sport administration. I'm sure you'll see some graduation next week, but yeah, I'm done. But I gotta get going to sleep because Mackenzie graduates tomorrow. Mackenzie Lynn Pesaros. I gotta get going. If you stuck around to the end of the video, comment, graduate. Seriously, again, thank y'all for all the support recently. It means the world to me. I love you guys. I will catch you in the next YouTube video. Peace.